Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box with Technical Trader. It's Wednesday, June 9th. These are the charts of the day. Today, focusing on the uh, short side, once again, uh, we're going to start with some of the box of shorts and go over the list of stocks that look uh, the most attractive at this point. In any case, BioRad, which had a big move up um, from March of last year when it was in the, found a 50 range to over 120, uh, came down suddenly and thrusted to the downside hard in early May, bounced at a lower low and has now formed a little bit of a declining channel here. But today's action down another dollar seventy-eight takes it below its lateral price support, and the stock could begin to fall away here. Initial target seventy-eight, secondary target around seventy. Uh, just to highlight, um, Box of Short British Petroleum BP, which has been on our list since it cracked in the end of April, formed this bear wedge here. Look at the fall away from that level, forty-eight. To 29 today, dropping another five and a half or 16 percent on the biggest volume in its history 237 million shares. I don't think there's that much more downside left. Uh, it's just my opinion. I think that the worst may be over. Today's historic volume could be near a selling climax, but we could see a bit of a lower low first. However, um, if I was shorting that stock at 48 and I saw it down here around 29, probably be inclined to cover, but we'll see how much lower it can get. CNX Consolidated Engineering in a distinct downtrend after having broken this topping formation here, came down from the bear flag, broke, formed another one, and then fell away, bouncing back to resistance and failing right here la at this lateral, at these lows. That resulted in this fall away and then another bounce, which caused another bear flag. It looks like we're headed lower on this one as well. Next target would be somewhere down around the 29 zone. Uh, beneath that, possibly something in the mid-20s. Diamond Offshore, which is being uh, ha hampered by the, uh, which had been hampered by the other drillers getting hammered, as you can see, has rolled over, um, formed the bearish consolidation where we alerted you to the short in the um, high 80s. The stock has since dropped down into the mid 50s and stair stepped its way lower. Now, today it was up sharply in the morning, up to 61, but closed at 57.09, up only 15 cents, a dramatic and negative reversal intraday which means potentially we could see somewhat lower prices. But I think all of these uh, companies in this group are near the end, but we'll see. A drill quip, after dropping sharply through the price support level that had um, held it for the last eight or nine months here, around 48 and change, um, has bounced back to form what we call a bear wedge. And that could also result in lower prices. But um, it's already had a one, two, three, Four wave, we may get one more fifth wave down towards the um, mid 30s uh, as a trading target, but I'm not sure how much more we have on that one as well. Although right now the trend is your friend, the trend is still down in that stock, and we and with volume. Gilead Sciences continues to absolutely act terrible, as you know during the uh, end of 08 and all of 09, early 010, uh, early 2010 period, the stock basically went sideways while the rest of the market was rallying a negative sign, a lot mo like Monsanto. <clears throat> in any case, this rising bottoms line here, shallow rising line, or rising bottoms line was gapped through, formed a little mini wedge, broke down, rallied back to resistance and failed, and has fallen away from the 40 down to the uh, 32 and change level just in the last two or three weeks. This looks like it could get, be also be getting oversold enough to be getting near an important low, but on, again, until you until it reverses, the trend is your friend, the trend is down. If you're short any, this stock by any chance, tighten stops, but continue to use trailing stops on the way down. IPCM, which we put on our list here when it broke in early May, uh, uh, then fell off, bounced to resistance right up at the highs in this zone here and near the moving average, fell away, and then today collapsed 484. I believe an earnings report, I'm not sure, but I, I know that the stock certainly has topped it, broken hard on heavy volume. And at this point, I'd be looking for a move that takes it down to an important support level down around 19. Uh, from there, maybe even something lower. We'll see how, how it goes. Here's Monsanto, similar to what we said about Gilead Sciences. The stock basically went sideways for a year and a half and then finally broke to the downside. And when it did, it accelerated the drop. At this point, despite all that dropping down from the uh, mid-80s down to the high 40s, the stock's forming another bear flag here and may well see 40 bucks before it's over, 40, 42 anyway. MicroStrategy, MSTR, 
topping, cracking, rallying back to resistance but cannot get through it. Notice this lateral resistance near the declining top line, moving average, etc. It looks to me like it's beginning to collapse. We could see something down in the low 60s for my next trading target. NCIT also completed a top formation by cracking down on big volume and then forming a bear wedge. It looks like it may be falling out of that bear wedge if it does. The next target is down around 18 and a half at that long-term support level. Anything below that, and we could see the stock in the low to mid-teens. Ocean Engineering, another driller that's getting hammered, uh, and it took out a key, key support level here, um, and then collapsed a couple weeks ago sharply from 52 down to 39 before bouncing, but it's still only able to form a bear wedge, and it may not be done on the downside quite yet, a lot depending on the group and whether or not um, the market itself um, bottoms or not. We are in a negative frame of mind here. You can see where it bounced, a, a break below that, and the stock could be in the mid-30s pretty quickly. PWRD, perfect world, strong rollover pattern, spiked down, formed a wedge, and now it's broken that and continues to fall, fall away. It's already dropped from where we recommended it, around the high 30s down to the low 20s. Next target, however, um, I would say something potentially down around this zone, around 20, uh, maybe even as low as the 17, 18 zone. Could be doable, depending on market conditions. Here's the chart on RIG, which uh, severely tested the December double bottom, December 08 double bottom, and uh, it's coming, coming down rather sharply on heavy volume. Reached the bottom of its channel late in the session today and tried to bounce. We'll see if there's any follow-through or not, but... Um, Certainly under a lot of pressure and continue to be so. Telvent, which rolled over um, after cracking in February, forming a little bear flag, getting to the bottom of, of the major channel, forming a big consolidation range, unable to get through the declining moving average and channel top, and then rolled over, formed a little mini bear flag, came down hard to 22 zone, bounced, formed another bear wedge, got slammed for $1.89 down below 20 today. Uh, down another 8.7 percent, headed for 18 and 18, 18 and a half, it appears, possibly lower depending on um, what kind of momentum it can generate. UIS, Unisys has had a very, very difficult six weeks, dropping from 39 and a half down to under 20. Um, and you can see this slide after this big down day triggered a big slide here. It ma it's maintained its down channel, getting a bit oversold, but possibly we'll see lower levels. That could reach the mid teens, possibly even the low teens eventually before that's over. Visa and MasterCard, both of them looking ugly. Visa broke hard in May, rallied back sharply, gapped down, collapsed, and then formed a big bear wedge. It was actually up 37 cents today, but closed um, $1.75 off its high. Um, stop point somewhere up above that line, but uh, in lower levels could result in a move down to the mid 60s. Finally, Wellpoint, uh, which topped in earlier this year, cracked early in May, formed like a little bit of a bear flag in, area, in this area. New downtrend underway as the moving areas have rolled over and are now headed south. A test of 45 may be forthcoming. That's our trading target. Those are some ideas on the short side. Should the market continue this downside move? Good luck. You'll need it.